Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a really good video for you guys because this is a very interesting topic. It's related to the Flash and related to the Arrowverse. We're going to be breaking down an article from comicbook.com. So that's going to be in the description below. So go check out the link to see the article. But for now, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is really interesting. This article, again, is from comicbook.com and they actually conducted an interview and it's like a mini segment of their interview with the Flash showrunner Eric Wallace, who all of you guys know, obviously. Lots of interviews have been conducted with him recently, especially because the Flash is coming to an end this season. We've got like a couple more episodes. I don't know exactly if it's 20 or 21. But he has done some interviews and this is just one of the segments from comicbook.com's interview. And so basically he is teasing a storyline and a major storyline that he wants to do and that could potentially come to fruition in the Arrowverse. Maybe next year, maybe the year after, we'll have to wait and see. But this is him talking about the aftermath of the Deathstorm storyline and everything that's been going on on The Flash recently. And so, talking to comicbook.com, Wallace said that there are many more Arrowverse stories to tell and that he would like to do Blackest Night, partly because he too is a fan. And so, Eric Wallace goes on to say this, Who says that the story is over? Talking about Deathstorm. All I can say to you is that there are many more Flash and Arrowverse stories to be told. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I actually wrote a Blackest Night story. I wrote Power of Shazam number 48. That's where the Black Lantern, Osiris comes back and all that good stuff. There's a reason I'm talking about Blackest Night. I'm trying to will it into existence. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to because that would require a full on crossover and many more millions of dollars than our show has. However, you got to start somewhere. And remember, I'm a fan first. I love Blackest Night. So to me, hopefully I've opened the door to that. Eventually we'll get to walk through. I know we have a ninth season and there's kind of a plan in place, but we may still be in COVID protocols, which means no crossovers, which means we can't do a story as big as Black as Night, but I certainly would like to plant seeds and try to will it into existence because I want to see it too. And so he goes on to say, I consider Black as Night the comic book storyline to be, in my opinion, a horror comic book storyline done with superheroes, and that to me is perfect. That's my sweet spot. That's perfect. And he goes on to say, and I knew this was going to be a season of horror, talking about The Flash, a season of more horror because I wanted to put Team Flash through kind of the ultimate ring and I felt horror was the best way to do that. Talking about how the Deathstorm storyline kind of played out and where we're going on from this because yes, Deathstorm is gone, he's been destroyed. I don't think if we ever have a Blackest Night story, Deathstorm is going to be involved. But basically where they're kind of spinning off the idea from the end of the Deathstorm storyline is just the idea of death and people coming back from the dead. And so with this, let's talk about this. So it's very exciting that Eric Wallace is trying to will a Black as Night crossover into existence. He very blatantly says, this can't be done on The Flash, this needs to be a crossover, and we need a lot of money. We need to be able to do it as big as possible if we want to do it just like the comic books. Because if you've read Blackest Night, you know it's pretty cosmic, you know it's pretty big, and it's expansive in terms of, you know, the multiverse and the normal DC universe as well, because it includes Green Lanterns, it includes Black Lanterns, it includes all of these characters that in live action would definitely need lots of CGI and that comes with more of a need for a bigger budget and that is why he is saying yes we would like to do this but we would need you know a big boost if we're gonna actually pull it off in the way that it is in the comics however it should be noted that there are definitely ways that they could go around it they've done it before in the Arrowverse that you know you have a storyline that's big and they find a way to make it work. I mean, if you look at Crisis and Infinite Earths, that should have cost a lot more than it did. 
and yes it may have been better but they did find a way to do it with the budget that they had and so if covid protocols are out the window say sometime in the next year or the year after which i think is more likely i would say that is definitely a possibility because blackest night is a huge storyline and if someone as big as eric wallace the showrunner of the flash the most popular show on the cw in the arrowverse is wanting to do something like this they have to take that into consideration because when they do these big crossovers it's normally like maybe three or four people who work on it some of the showrunners but also some of the people behind the scenes that have worked on the shows in the past like Mark Guggenheim and different people like that so with that in mind most of these guys are people who have wrote for DC Comics before like Eric Wallace like Mark Guggenheim and everyone else who would be coming on board they are probably very much so aware of Blackest Night. And so I don't see why this would never happen in the Arrowverse. I just think it would be great to have it with The Flash while The Flash is still on. I really don't think it's going to happen this season. Like Eric said, protocols are still in place because of COVID. That's still ongoing in terms of the filming world. Obviously, things have become a bit more relaxed in the outside world, at least in the UK. But it seems up in Vancouver with their filming things are still pretty strict so they're still not able to do like a huge crossover and it seems actually just like segueing away from the topic for a second it seems they're not going to be doing a big crossover this year once again because Eric says there's pretty much no plans because of the protocols in place and they can't do a story as big as Black as Night and that's not to say that Eric isn't planning some sort of crossover because he's previously said he wants to maybe at the start of next season start with a crossover similar to what he did with Armageddon because that was actually a crossover even though it wasn't as big as something like Crisis on Infinite Earths or Crisis on Earth X or Elseworlds but it was still a crossover and he's mentioned that he's got plans and he's got ideas he's talked to like a Supergirl cast member from the past who is probably going to come back to the Flash next season maybe for that mini crossover but right now it seems Eric has confirmed, yes, there is no plans for a big crossover coming in the next seasons of our shows. But let's circle back to Blackest Night because it's interesting. He brings up the Black Lanterns and he brings up, you know, the storyline of Blackest Night from the comics. And so basically, if you guys know Necron, and if you've read Blackest Night, you definitely know Necron. He's kind of like the main villain of the Black Lantern Corps and of the whole comic book in general. And basically, Necron, after Final Crisis, makes his return in Blackest Night, where he forms the Black Lantern Corps composed of zombies. And so with these zombies, basically what he's doing is he is using the Black Lantern power rings to bring them back to life and basically release his zombies on the universe to try and kill other people to make them into part of his army. And so, with this in mind, it doesn't have to be Black Lanterns. It doesn't have to be, you know, Superman or something like that. It can be any character in the multiverse. It can be characters that we've seen in the Arrowverse before in the past that they want to bring back. Or it can be completely new characters that have already been killed in the Arrowverse, but we just haven't been made aware of it. But this brings up an interesting idea, because this is a great way to bring back past characters so say they did blackest night as a crossover next year so not you know this crossover but next crossover so in two seasons time basically say the flash season 10 say the flash is on its final season they want to do one big crossover they go for blackest night that would be a great crossover now who would they bring back there's always the chance that they can bring any dead character from the past in the Arrowverse. So, the number one idea that pops into my mind is obviously Oliver Queen, who is currently dead. He's technically the Spectre, but he's actually dead. So that means he could totally come back as a zombie and as a Black Lantern or, you know, whatever they call it in the show if they don't want to go with the Lanterns. And that would be a great way to bring back Stephen Amell to the Arrowverse because as of right now, even though the Arrow 10th anniversary is coming this fall, it doesn't seem like we're going to get any sort of crossover because The Flash isn't even returning for Season 9 until January past Arrow's 10th anniversary. That was something that we were really kind of banking on, maybe for a crossover for their anniversary, 
But now, with the announcement from the CW that The Flash and Superman Lois, two of the main Arrowverse shows, aren't going to be premiering until the mid-season, that pretty much rules out the window, so that brings into the question, how are we going to bring back Stephen Amell at one point? Well, this would be a good instance. Now, let's just talk about some of the other dead Arrowverse characters that we could bring back. There are many to name, but here are a few. Maybe Rip Hunter, maybe Moira Queen, Quentin Lance, Tommy Merlin, Leonard Snart, or even Eddie Thorne. That would be a good one because we've seen him recently and it seems clear that, you know, the actor who plays Eddie Thorne is totally down to keep on returning because he literally just returned, that being Rick Cosnett, of course. And he is a pretty big character, and there are lots of deaths out there in the Arrowverse. I would say one of the best ones probably could be Martin Stein, in terms of bringing back a beloved character. However, the one thing about that is he would return as a sort of new version of Deathstorm, because obviously he has his Firestorm powers with inside of himself, so that would kind of be a retreading, but I guess it would be interesting if it was Martin doing it this time. Laura Lance would be another pick, and also maybe someone from the past that we've seen previously die, like Barry Allen from Earth 90, played by Jay Garrick. We saw him in Crisis very, very briefly, and he was killed just then. And you could bring back a multitude of other characters from out there in the multiverse that we've met, or like I previously said, that we haven't met. But that about does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos, and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.